Hello fellow black soldier fly farmers. Hope you're doing well on your insect farms. And today I want to show you all what you need to establish or make a successful black soldier fly farm or business. As usual, I'm Martin Tenua, your insect expert, who is dedicated to freely share with you information about black soldier fly farming so that you can transform your venture or business and move forward the number one thing is you need land you need land for all project related activities setting up the structure where you're going to store the waste where you're going to store your products all that need land so land is essential for small operators i'll just call it space you need space for where these activities are going to take place. Number two, you're going to require capital. Capital, I mean in terms of money to purchase, uh, for example, containers or even hire this land um, or even hire people to help you out. You're going to, write, to, to, to require the money, the capital, or you need to buy the startup stock you need this money so money in every business is very essential number three you're going to need power power i mean electricity i mean solar i mean diesel engine for my case i use uh, a diesel engine as a power source on my farm to really shred this jackfruit watermelon into smaller particles for the for the lava even even other there are certain other activities like drying you might decide to use uh, electricity but for now just know to operate this business whether small or big put in mind at one point you will need the power the other thing is water you need water for washing containers for washing nets for even washing your your hands yourself but on big facilities you need also water to cool the machines so water is one of the key factors to make sure uh, you run your bsf enterprise very successful then the number five is market accessibility for any enterprise bsf is a business what are you doing it for you need market for your products are you going to be selling eggs are you going to produce lava for sale are you going to produce fertilizer you need market and you need to know it before even you start your business even if you're going to produce the lava on your farm it should also reflect economic sense so you're the market you don't just produce market is key it is a priority in any business so the other important thing the number six is availability of waste organic waste organic waste should be available because it contributes to your cost of production is the main raw material you need on your farm focus on where you're going to get your waste is it accessible and which type of waste is it animal manure is it plant-based raw materials like fruits and vegetables from the markets um, are they fish offers so look at the waste source the other thing is your business venture or farm is it accessible at one point you will need a track of uh, of uh, of waste to deliver it to your farm it should be accessible so put that into the consideration and let's not forget number eight is favorable climatic conditions where you set your BSF, it should not be too hot or too cold. BSF likes uh, an environment between 25 to 32 degrees Celsius. But uh, I well know that any country in the tropics is, is, is favored. BSF can live naturally. So you might not need to uh, worry much. But those uh, areas where the temperatures are too high or too low, please consider it before you start your enterprise because it might affect you uh, the accessibility to parent stock is the ninth point where you get uh, the parent stock it should be of high quality they 
maybe you're buying eggs maybe you're starting with the lava or any other stage it's they should be of uh, high quality don't just buy anywhere from any farm or capture from the wild of course you can capture from the wild but it's not the best case there are breeders who can provide you um quality parent stock the other thing which uh, we most of the times don't consider is the relationship with our neighbors we should consider it some people do not know bsf or if you don't manage it well it will bring up a bad smell so your community if it is too much within the community the neighbors it's surrounded by many people it might be a problem and some people remember do not know fly these flies they might think they are disease vectors which is not the case maybe you can really um talk to those to those people but also try to get um, a good place which is not too um surrounded by people because you're going to be storing waste you're going to be working with the flies it should not be in the middle of uh, of uh, very many people so consider it before you start the other two points i'm making these are I like bonus is one information you need information about the business some of you farmers just come into the business without information and remember information now is everywhere is on internet is in books is on youtube is everywhere but also take conscious some people who provide you information might not be very much qualified to give you information or have experience in giving you um good information or consultancy to make sure you successfully run your enterprise and maybe the last thing when you start this enterprise be with a small business plan to guide you which steps are you taking today you're small but think big we should take insect rearing or black soldier fly as a business for me i'm here doing it as a business you have seen i've i've got now a new site that means um every day i'm i'm moving towards uh, my goals and that is uh, because of uh, i have a small business plan so thank you for listening we keep in touch on weekly training videos like this one and we shall transform the sector bye bye